Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video uh, we have a special car for you guys and this is Volvo. Uh, this is Volvo XC60 and uh, this is from the 2010 model. It's an old car, six-speed uh, manual as well. And uh, we installed the Android screen on this car as well as the back camera. Uh, and uh, originally this car only had this, if I show you, this storage compartment here like so and uh, nothing else uh, no back camera no screen nothing just a small lcd right there and uh, some original functions as well like uh, cd fm am and that's it yeah and uh, nothing else and we installed the screen android screen basically and as well as the back camera so there are a lot of interesting things um, that uh, we can talk about and i can talk about uh, but if we begin with uh, just a specification of the stereo this is an android 9 we also have the android 10 this comes with uh, from 32 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes of memory and as well as 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, they have the latest processor in them which is uh, PX7 which is Okta 8 core processor. Uh, pretty pretty fast for an um, car stereo or car head unit you can call it. Uh, so if we begin from the basic this is an Android stereo as we we only have the Android stereos uh, on uh, our website or warehouse so it will obviously have uh, all the basic android functions such as uh, it has wi-fi it has bluetooth and other functions as well and uh, applications obviously there are a lot of android applications and you also have the play store uh, you can download the almost any application you want for example i've installed youtube and other stuff as well i've installed some um, navigation software as well uh, sidejig igo navigation google maps you can use any kind of navigation software as well i mean as far as you have it on the play store or you have a memory card that you can insert and in. if it's an online you can obviously uh, offline navigation software obviously you can uh, use that one as well and uh, obviously you can download uh, Netflix, Spotify in the f screen and you can log in with your normal account and use everything in here. You can download uh, your social medias, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you have, Twitter. As we have, I have installed the Gmail here, obviously. You can install any kind of application as same as is. it goes same as you have on, the, on your phone. You install, uh, you have a, uh, on App Store or iPhone, you have App Store, you can install any kind of application and on uh, Android, uh, they have a Play Store, a Google Play Store, you, uh, basically, the, or the original name. You can install any kind of application. Then, uh, first of all, if you install this screen, obviously this car had uh, no original screen. It has only this uh, storage compartment. But even though if you have an original screen and if you have any older functions from the older screens, you will still have all your older functions uh, as well as even this car had no screen, but it has some uh, CD, DVD and uh, some steering wheel control buttons here. They work perfectly fine um, as they worked before. Uh, so there is literally uh, no worry of losing any of your older functions. And uh, the back camera as well, it's pretty efficient. And I mean, as soon as you put it in the reverse, the back camera comes up. I will show you uh, very soon. Uh, then other basic function, if you start from here. Uh, these are the default uh, icons you can say navigation I have choose uh, the iGo navigation here you can choose any kind of navigation here it's really up to you BT music is the Bluetooth um, once you connect your phone via Bluetooth to the screen you can sync all of your contacts uh, in the stereo and you can call somebody directly from here or you can use these buttons as well in order to pick up calls or hang up calls and you can also um, if on the phone list you can see all of your contacts here you can call directly from here as well and uh, the second feature this bluetooth has is the bt music uh, right here so uh, this bt music is when you connect your phone via bluetooth to the stereo you can play when you play something from your phone you can hear it in the car so that's the second option yeah so you, you will have all of your playlist of songs or whatever you have spotify soundcloud youtube music you can play directly to the car from your phone and then there are settings, music player and the video player. These two players are basically uh, in order to listen to music or watch videos externally. Uh, externally, what I mean by externally is if you have a USB um, uh, flash disk or if you have a small memory card in which you have stored some movies or songs and you want to connect it uh, to the stereo and listen it or watch uh, movies or stuff uh, in the car, obviously you can do that as well. And uh, how you do it is, if I open this up, uh, we have installed 
two USB um, inputs here on this side if I show you like so so you basically need to insert a USB here and then you can go to the video or music in order to play or watch uh, uh, videos or listen to the music then you have the phone link here this is the Apple CarPlay for iPhone you can obviously you, you can also use in a wireless Apple CarPlay in this stereo as well so uh, you don't need to buy any external small uh, if you can say uh, device or something in order to use Apple CarPlay you have a built-in Apple CarPlay in the stereo so once you open phone link you basically uh, connect it uh, via Bluetooth to the phone link and then you have Apple CarPlay in the same stereo so you can use an Android and an iPhone at the same time on the same screen then the car information or car info this is for the cars that have the original screens if this car had an original screen and uh, original functions or um, menus from the original screen then you can uh, this is for those uh, cars so once I click on the car info uh, I will be able to use the older um, you can say older screen uh, but this car had no uh, older screen so when I click it's just black screen but if you had the uh, an older screen or original screen from MMI then you can obviously click here and then use the older functions uh, then you have the DVR DVR is for the front camera or the monitoring camera like the dashboard camera so if you have uh, like a dashboard camera or if you want to install a dashboard camera or a front parking camera you can connect it to the stereo and uh, go to DVR and you can basically record all kind of videos save it in the stereo or when you're parking you can obviously click here and you can see uh, the, the view uh, from the front camera uh, then these are the some basic icons then obviously if you go applications there are the Android applications, YouTube, I'm pretty sure 99% of you guys are probably familiar with these uh, applications. These are Android applications. You can use YouTube, watch videos, everything. There is the dashboard as well. Um, this dashboard is basically your whole speedometer. Uh, whatever you have here, it shows here. Like um, your mileage, your temperature, everything. Right now the car is turned off, so it's uh, seat belt is yes. So there you go and uh, right now the car is turned off so that's why it's not showing anything but you you have everything here as well and obviously you can uh, change the uh, modes to it as well and you can do it by going to the setting uh, you can change it to sport mode it really depends on what car you have if you have a bmw or mercedes or any kind of m performance or any sports car obviously you have a lot of other stuff to do here as well on the dashboard but this car is a uh, six-speed manual from 2010 so it has it doesn't have any original functions like any modes to choose so yeah it's just basic uh there are some other functions as well and then now i'm going to show you the back camera how it works so if i start the car and uh as soon as I put it in the reverse, the back camera comes up. And uh, obviously your car sensor, this car sensor, uh, it has a small screen right there, so it shows the sensor there, but you will also have the sensors here as well. So right now it's showing no signal because I haven't connected the cable properly, but uh, yeah. And then you, if you have car, if your car have a front sensor or a back sensor, they will work uh, as perfect, as, uh, like you have this small if i don't know if you can see it so when i back up to something uh, it will show me the lines as well and even also on the front side and uh, that's how the back camera works and as soon as i put it in the neutral it goes uh, away so that's how back camera works and uh, I'll, as well as this stereo, these serious functions you can use the original ones as well like for example you can use um, like if i press fm you can play fm uh, listen to uh, radio use this or use the skip buttons or you can use uh, am as well or the cd as well you can certainly all the older function works uh, even if you if i insert a cd i don't have a cd de device uh, but i have connected this to the stereo so if i have a cd that has uh, some kind of movies or stuff as well if i put it in here i, I will be able to watch it on the screen so that's another plus point you can say a good function yeah and uh, that's it, uh, to be honest. And uh, there are a lot of more, more things to do with this stereo and talk about, but um, the time is very limited, so I won't go into the detail. So if you have a car, uh, it doesn't matter if you have a Volvo or if you have any other car, we have this kind of uh, Android head units for almost all the cars out there, all the cars. So if you if you wanna buy or install it in your car, upgrade it, upgrade your car, 
you can contact us. We also have a physical warehouse uh, in Stockholm, Sweden, Solontuna, Malmvägen 18D. You can come visit us or if you live uh, in another country, you can contact us uh, via email. I will leave all the particular links, website link, our contact information in the description below. So uh, feel free to ask me questions. Uh, you can comment down below as well. I'll be very happy to answer them. So. Uh, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video and until then bye bye take care